They're very professional. Mm, looks completely deceiving. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So we're back in the kitchen this morning, but we're not demolishing the wall today. We're doing something a little bit more important and we are trying to unearth or uncover the original oak beam. Because we've got a feeling that over a hundred years ago, it was covered over. And below that surface is the original 18th century beam of how it was meant to look. So this might change the entire look and feel of the kitchen if we can have it sort of retaining the original design and the original old appearance. So yeah, Sean's just doing some digging and we'll get back in a minute and see what it looks like. So the kitchen is currently a building site, so it's a hard hat only area, just to be safe. We don't want nothing falling on our heads. But Sean is doing something really, really interesting. So let's talk to him about what he's currently doing. Sean. Hi, Billy. So you are currently exposing the original 18th century ceiling, yeah. which was covered over by our estimates probably a hundred years ago. Yeah, I would have, I would have said so. So, right that mark. a hundred year old ceiling yeah. with a hundred and fifty year old ceiling above it. Definitely. Yeah, the original above that. It's absolutely incredible. It's amazing. It's in such good condition as well. And the thing is, it's, it's changing the dynamic of this renovation because now it's about preserving the mm. original ceiling Definitely. rather than covering it, which was my original plan. Yeah. Well, these projects evolve. You don't know until you start doing like exploration holes into mm -hmm. into the fabric of the building and uh, 
until it starts revealing itself to yeah. you. So it certainly has, and uh, what a beauty it is. It is, it's absolutely stunning. So it's now preservation rather than demolition. Demolition, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of demolition, but yeah. we've still got, got to take a bit mindful, we, Yeah, we? we've still got to take the wall out. Yeah, but it's coming down. To have this original beam exposed and the original ceiling is just amazing. Yeah. Like I said, incredible. Yeah. A light wire brush back. Yep. Just to get all the loose stuff off. Mm -hmm. Nothing too uh, too serious cleaning wise to yep. do to it. Just mm -hmm. a, you know, a scrape back and uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there. Yep. Just be respectful to the building. Exactly. That looks amazing, Sean. Yeah. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Okay, Sean, you've got a suggestion. I've got a suggestion. Right. It's okay exposing everything like we have. Looking at the construction at the moment, we don't think it's a load bearing wall or anything like that, mm -hmm. but I think what we should do to make sure for sure is to go upstairs and have a look and see whether there's... Oh, so essentially wall. you think there could possibly be a wall above there the beam? Be, yeah. yeah, there may be, so yeah. I think it's well worth going up there. I think if it's long, as long as it's not a stone wall, it's fine. Yeah. If it's a timber frame wall... If it's a timber one, then yeah, there's, there's no weight in that, you know? Yeah. There's nothing, nothing above that above that anyway, excuse mm -hmm. me. <coughs> Not a hundred percent. But yeah, if we go up and have a look, uh, we'll soon find out. So. Okay, let's go. Let's take uh, something to make a hole in the wall and... Right, well, so we take Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, demolition Rick. Demolition Rick. Come on, Rick. Go on. Right, you go on, Mark. We've got the persuader. Yeah. So, window. yep, second window. second window. So it's between these two rooms. So it's this wall, yeah. It's this wall. Go on, Sean. Make an owl. Oh, go on again. Oh. oh, that's a hard wall. Ah. I would say that's a timber frame wall, yeah. Mm. So not a stone wall. Definitely not a stone wall, I think we'd have hit a little bit of stone here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe do a little bit more. Yeah. Open it up, man. It's timber. Timber, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to put the mask on because I'm a bit chesty at the moment. Yeah. <coughs> you got to not breathe in that dust, mate. No. We've all left the BBGBs, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it, Rick. Do you know, we never ever did the sink trap in this room. Oh, didn't we? No. This could be the one. <laughs> <laughs> could be this could be special. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's see what this is actually constructed of. Ah, exactly. Timber. Timber and lath. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not load bearing. No, it's just an interior wall essentially. Yeah, basically where they've divided up the cells. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So there's probably not a lot of weight up here really. I'm waiting now. Yeah. It's just, just a plasterboard, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Plasterboard, hiding. Oh, you can see the timber there, Sean, look. Can yeah. you see that there, yeah. that beam? Timber with clay, straw infill. Yeah. So, good news, it's yeah. not a load-bearing wall. No, and there's no. nothing above. And there's nothing above, no. Nothing above this. No. Thing. Above this is when it goes into the mansard roof design. Oh, okay. Which is essentially spread out over the exterior walls, but there's a small, there's a few down beams, but... Yeah. 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 It spreads the weight. It does spread the weight, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, there can't be much weight up here. It's just a modern floor, and then yeah. below this is going to be the original floor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, just floating a new floor over the top yeah, of the Yeah, because I reckon the original floor probably slopes down <laughs> yeah. to the centre of the building, yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. Yeah. Should we go to keep going? Should be, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, so, we'd be cautious, you know, continue to yeah. check what we're mm-hmm. doing. And I think we should still put some macro pops, props up when we're working. Yeah, definitely. And just keep an eye on any movement, essentially. Yeah. But we also need to check. Um, we won't have time today because uh, we've been incredibly busy, but um, we need to check where the beams go into the walls. Yeah. Because that's generally where they deteriorate, yeah. Yeah, they rot there. There's yeah. any dampness sits there, they can't breathe, maybe. Mm-hmm. They rot. Obviously, if the timber's solid through the middle and the ends are completely rotten, yeah. the, whole, the whole beam comes down. Yeah, literally. Literally. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely check that out tomorrow. Okay, brilliant. And then we'll be good to go, I think. Good news all round, I think. Good news all round. Yeah. yeah. So we've determined that the beam is fit for purpose. Fit for purpose, can't talk properly again today. Um, there's no load bearing wall above it, just a very thin timber framed wall. And so yeah, the beam is in remarkable condition. The um, joists between it are in great condition as well. We've just got to keep at it and taking some of it back just to discover more of it, making sure it's all in good condition. And if none of it is, we can always change it, I suppose. But yeah, the project is developing a little bit because now we're gonna end up with, rather than just a white plasterboarded ceiling, we're gonna have an entire oak ceiling from the 18th century. So it's very interesting. Um, this project's gonna take quite a while just because there's a lot involved. So yeah. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you all tomorrow.